this is the last video on alcoholic liver disease and we'll discuss treatment. These are some of the investigations that could be done in alcoholic liver disease. This would include blood tests like the liver profile, full blood counts, kidney function, tests to look for bleeding and coagulation, blood tests for hepatitis B and C. This would be some of the blood tests. Then an ultrasound of the liver. Sometimes the doctors might proceed to do a CT scan or an MRI scan to diagnose liver cirrhosis or if a liver cancer is suspected. Then gastroscopy where a thin flexible tube is passed to the stomach via the mouth. In liver cirrhosis, this is to look for swelling of the veins in the esophagus or stomach. These are called esophageal varices and these are signs of an advanced liver cirrhosis. Let's now look at the management of alcoholic liver disease. The most important step to management is abstinence. Abstinence means to stop drinking alcohol completely. This is the single most important thing the patient can do. It has to be total abstinence from alcohol. Even one drink is too many. It can be difficult as the patient is dependent on alcohol so the patient may need to seek help from professionals. It takes up to six weeks of stopping alcohol for the changes of fatty liver to reverse. It also improves the survival in cirrhosis. It can be dangerous for a heavy drinker to suddenly stop drinking alcohol as it can result in life-threatening withdrawal symptoms. It must be done with advice from the doctor. Alcohol withdrawal syndrome is a name for the symptoms that occur when a heavy drinker suddenly stops or significantly reduces the alcohol intake. Symptoms of withdrawal can range from anxiety, nausea, vomiting, fatigue to a severe life-threatening type called delirium tremens with confusion, agitation, hallucination, fits. So the patient must get advice from the doctor before stopping the alcohol. Good nutrition is very important. Good nutrition is very important because many patients are malnourished and suffer from lack of protein and calories as well as vitamins and minerals. Alcohol suppresses the appetite and also causes malabsorption of food. Also heavy drinkers get most of their calories from alcohol. A balanced diet with high protein, 1 to 1.5 grams per kilogram per day, and calories, about 30 to 40 kilocal per kilogram per day, as well as vitamin B, namely folate, vitamin B6 and thiamine, fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E and K, and minerals like zinc, magnesium and selenium. All this will help to improve the nutritional status of the patient and consequently help to heal the liver. Frequent meals are also recommended. Drinking two cups of coffee per day is good for the liver. Controlling body weight is important as obesity is bad for the liver. Stopping smoking is important as smoking is bad for alcoholic liver disease. Finally, let's talk about psychosocial therapy. Psychotherapy includes talk therapy with a counsellor or psychologist and CBT or cognitive behaviour therapy, which is a form of psychotherapy, it also helps. Self-help groups like 
Alcoholic Anonymous have a lot of experience in assisting the patient through the difficult period of stopping alcohol. Another option is residential treatment in a 24-hour alcohol-free environment is another option. This is also called a rehabilitation or rehab center. Sometimes medicines are needed to supplement psychotherapy. Certain medications like benzodiazepines may help. Also medications to help with alcohol withdrawal should always be given in collaboration with psychosocial help and not on its own.